Welcome to Agoracom, a small cap epicenter and Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Wednesday, April the 7th, we have two, two great press releases for you, both out of the energy and resources space. First up, JA Solar Trades on the NASDAQ under JASO. If you've been a viewer of Agoracom TV, you know we love these up-and-coming Chinese companies. The company announced that they're, they're raising shipment guidance for the first quarter 2010. They've revised their guidance uh, for the first quarter ended March 31st. Based on current customer orders, the company now projects first quarter shipments to exceed 265 megawatts. That's up significantly from the previous guidance, even the high end of the previous guidance, which is 215 to 225 megawatts. And they put that out just February 10th, 2010. So in under two months, they've significantly raised guidance. Got a quote here from CEO of the company. During Q1, we saw robust demand from existing and new customers. We also won several new European customers during the quarter, which further diversified our customer base and provides better visibility for the full year. The company says they're one of the world's largest suppliers of high-performance solar cells and solar products. Closed yesterday, $5.67, 52-week low, 280, 52-week high, $6.95. Next up, New Don Mining trades on the big board TSX on the stock symbol ND. This is the Gorecom client. As always, got to disclose that, but we don't report on the Gorecom client news unless it really stands on its own two feet. The company announced a couple of things today. Uh, the headline, they've completed commissioning of a deepened second shaft at their Turk mine. Uh, uh, the company says that they've completed the commissioning of the Armenian shaft at the company's Turk and Angelus mine complex in Zimbabwe, which has deepened hoisting capability from the fifth level to the ninth level. So that's pretty significant. They're also saying that gold production is, is expected to increase by 40% by mid-2011. Here are some of the highlights. The second shaft now operational at the Turk mine. Mine development has accelerated. Their next, produ their next production target of 22 to 23,000 ounces of annualized gold production has been accelerated by six months. So good news out of the company. Uh, this is a junior gold company currently expanding gold production at Turk and Angelus Mines. If you take a look at some of the company's recent press releases, pretty much every month they're putting out their production and revenue numbers, and they've been increasing steadily. As always, do your own due diligence, but uh, New Don Mining closed yesterday at a dollar four, 52 week low, 47 cents, 52 week high, a dollar 85. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Uh, two great press releases for you. If you look for more great information, get stuff to the front page of Agoracom. Three things to do there. First, uh, watch this video right on the site or do it through our syndication partners at iTunes, iTunes YouTube, Google Video, you name it. Second, uh, watch the best press releases coming out of our sponsored clients that are separated by industry at the top of the page. And finally, get stuff into the, into the directory. We've got a lot of companies in there. You can separate by industry and exchange to help you find the one that best suits your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.